Nebraska, Michigan, and Wisconsin all looking for a spot to the big dance, but which team will generate a number one seat? Time to find out in this edition of Tourney Watch. I'm Raven Toronto, and joining me is college basketball analyst Mike DeCourcy. Mike, do Michigan and Wisconsin have the chance to be a number one seed going into the tournament if either wins the Big Ten Conference Championship? Well, what's interesting about that question, Raven, is that the problem would be for both of them is that the game is the latest of all the conference tournament finals, so it is very difficult for the committee to take it into account if it were to be, say, between a team that already finished on Saturday, let's say Villanova, uh, and then or Kansas, and then a team that finishes as Michigan or Wisconsin would do Saturday at roughly a half an hour before the bracket is released, then it's very difficult for them to make a contingency bracket that would place either of them at number one. If it were either one or the other, they say they played each other in the final. This actually happened two years ago. Ohio State played Michigan State. The winner was going to get a one seed and go to a certain region. I believe that was the Midwest. Uh, and the loser was going to go as a number two seed elsewhere. That's how it turned out. <laughs> Ironically, the one that actually won the number one seed, uh, Michigan State, wound up losing in the Sweet 16. And Ohio State went on from a two seed to the Final Four. Another team looking to make it in the tournament is Nebraska. How many games do they need to win to find a spot in the NCAA tournament, Mike? They actually might not need to win any games. They play in the quarterfinals against the, what would probably be the five seed Ohio State. And if they were to play competitively in that game, make a show like they really want to be in the tournament, they may have already done enough. It would be up to what others do in other tournaments. What does Tennessee do? Uh, what does Arkansas do? Uh, what does Cal do in the Pac-12? What does Xavier do in the Big East Tournament? All those sorts of things. Uh, it would, they would be dependent on what I call the kindness of strangers. I think it was actually Tennessee Williams that uh, did that first. But uh, I, I think that uh, those would be the elements that would be in play for Nebraska if they lose in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten Tournament. But if they win the game, that's it. They'll be in. Mike, thanks for your time. For everyone that's watching, don't forget to join us tomorrow for another edition of Tourney Watch. Thank <laughs> you.